Hi, Norma here. So uh, I'm in Cairo in this Hotel Ritz Carlton and uh, on the Women Economic Forum Egypt and I'm presenting tomorrow uh, at the panel Arts as Means of Development. So I will I will go through the topics now. I'm um, just uh, starting. <laughs> Culture and creativity, creating pathways to prosperity, arts as a means of development. There are many ways to be courageous in the world, but creativity is one of the most courageous. With a quote of our dear Mansi Mahajan after my presentation on the last wave event in Ljubljana. Dear wonderful leader, Dr. Harbin Aurora, dear sisters, dear soul sisters, I'm so extremely honored to be here today celebrating the empowerment of creativity in every woman to build general pathways to prosperity. We all know that art is something very intimate, profound in us, that expresses our soul, feelings, subconsciousness, but also our sensitivity for beauty and harmony as well, in all of its different shapes and medias. From that kind of inner necessity and inner feelings, lots of expressive works have been done. On the other hand, arts are often being used by emperors, kings, in political as well as in the religious domain, to show their power and grandiosity, and often those two aspects are being interlaced, so we can witness magnificent pyramids of Giza and Saqqara, the Blue Mosque, Gothic churches, Notre Dame et Saint-Denis Basilique, Hagia Sophia, Taj Mahal, Sistine Chapel, Oversai Castle. Nowadays, we admire arts exposed in museums as being cultural nomades. We have Venice Biennial and others. But arts can penetrate also in more commercial spaces, as it is in the case of Joanna Vasconcello's exposition, a big white lace and pearls woven Valkyrie in the central space of Beaumarchais bon luxury commercial space in Paris. We can summarize that arts can be also a highly promotional tool for contemporary wealthy people, as it is in the case of an Henri Pinot and his Palazzo Grassi Foundation. In spite of the fact that art is beautiful, necessary, and that cultural heritage is an uncontestable value, there are issues with evaluation of the artworks. And for instance, we can see enormous shift between an additioned comedian a ready-made artwork of Italian artist Maurizio Catalan, a wall scotch banana, sold at Art Miami for $120,000, and the fact that many artists hardly sell something. So I'm Norma de saint Pikman, intermediate artist, painter and sculptor, founder of Nora Vision Gallery and Nora Vision Decentralized Art Ecosystem. Disposed internationally, had 50 personal shows by graphics being included in Bibliothèque Nationale collection in Paris. I am focusing also on sculptural projects in the context of architectural environment. 
After years being an independent artist, I've needed to shift to a more structured part of a gallerist. And we are actually partnering with Arts in Vastari Museum platform, exhibiting mainly female artists and focusing on limited edition prints. In the 80s, I've realized sarcophage for the SL sculpture like this, sarcophage for immortal love being exposed in Grand Palais, Paris, temporarily in front of Robert Indiana's love. Then we have sacrifice in town hometown Hall, Ljubljana, and fountain of Woe, Ljubljana Castle, consonances, color dances, Ljubljana Castle, associated fragments of reality at Sankar Hall, small gallery, and parallels in Mona, the Green Queen, fire, earth, air, with Alenka Kahn Pitchman's oil paintings. And parallels, Diana Scroon, exposing President Vibes, Diana, Jack, and Melania, with a crown of deer antlers, which are in this context the crown of power and of dominance. For contemporary events, I included La Reine Soleil painting on solar panel, a prototype of NoraVision Solar, an auction and tunnel installation project for artists in the spirit of sustainable creative recycling of used solar panels. We have a dynamic model, painted panels being sold at auctions, and a static model. Paintings are placed in big public spaces, metros, tunnels, airports, and funds collected are transferred partly to artists, partly for curatorial work and maintenance of a platform, and a part for recycling of old solar panels. As fixing the right value of the artwork in the current art market system is quite a difficult task, I believe blockchain, EDLT, and AI technology can help solving problems of trust, transparency, provenance, traceability, along with more accurate monetary evaluation processes. As our why is fueled by personal pain points, stemming from my own experience being my artist and myself, NeuroVision's valiant mission to end the starving artist complex places artists in the center of the ecosystem tokenize themselves so they might be able to share gross revenues with communities of investors, collectors, auction houses and galleries via digital security offering. Every step in career, every artwork, history of accomplished trades, shares and likes, life of an artist is traced, contributing to augmented value of an artwork. NeuroVision is a decentralized arts ecosystem through which an eclectic pool of artists, collectors, investors, auction houses and galleries gather in efforts to raise awareness of the world's most talented artists through liquidable digital asset investments, an AI-powered digital community and blockchain-driven authenticity attracting protocol. Each member of the Norwegian ecosystem acts as a node which has the capacity to engage in smart contract-based transactions and data sharing. Artwork is double certified and traced via digital platform, software, and the smart chip, hardware, that very hard certificate. But what we can see is a common digital platform with blockchain running in the back office. NoraVision MITV SI is a first prototype with authors and classified works in two and three dimension video classification for categories. I guess that in the future, there will be kind of coalition between different platforms through which the proper value of an artwork will be generated. Digitals like Arts is such to be linked with blockchain platforms, Vastari, Art Gallery, Monar, etc. But for today's presentation, aligned with the overall idea of the conference, culture and creativity, creating pathways of prosperity, I would like to expose NoraVision Bridge project, in which we created a model of accessing new markets in a smooth and elegant fashion. NeuroVision Bridge is designed for successful women entrepreneurs just like you are, accessing new markets being ambassadors of art, business and heritage, creation and sustainability. Woman ambassador expresses her sense of beauty and art through her choice of initial object, surface, material, through local craftsmen with coordination of an artist creator, designing a product which represents her business, however aligned with cultural identity of both countries created art product being graphics, ceramics, textile, painting, or wood carving, combined with multiplication processes, serves as a gift or award 
for her business partners, or enlighten overall design of new offices by sandblasted mirrors or windows, granite glass ceramics. To mention great uh, Indian artists Sandershan Shetty and Portuguese artist Joana Vasconcelos, or architects Antonio Gaudí, Trecadis, and Joseph Plechnik, Greek stone and wrought iron combination, or Hassan Taha Hussein's spectacular work morals, or Halid Hafez strike in juxtaposition of traditional and contemporary iconography, everybody deeply dirtied in tradition. Created object incorporates three layers, the activity business of a woman ambassador, inclusion of the crafts and production of local and target country, inclusion of the artistic intervention of an artist. The concept is based on cooperation and mutual benefit between Eurovision Bridge ambassador, local craftsmen, and the artist. Inclusion of artistic approach and cultural identity aspect into initial business involves greater humanistic cultural dimension and therefore makes greater impact and success intensify business as it speaks on the multidimensional level of female entrepreneurship. You can connect with me via social media and I prepare also for you a gift as well, which is accessible online in a form of survey that will guide your reflections to certain steps to start this adventure smoothly if you might be interested. Thank you very much for your attention.